Welcome to Mr. IGS's channel. My name is Mr. IGS himself of International Gentlemen of Style. That's what IGS stands for. We are not dedicate this to men, but women as well, and not just fashion, but also lifestyle and other things, maybe relationships as well, but never politics or religion. So that being said, let's focus on some things today. What you see today, I'm wearing a winter coat because it's snowed outside today. This is called a double-breasted Chesterfield. Uh, it's very versatile, probably my favorite and most versatile coat. As you can see, right now I'm just wearing it with a shirt and a scarf. Nice inside line and double breast. has a single split in the back. Very light, as you can see, easy to put on and off. Has a complimentary, very stylish black collar in the back, as you can see. Once again, inside lining and it has a top pocket. Very, very comfortable coat. My very versatile coat. You see the military lapels up top as well. So you can wear this right here with basically, I'm wearing chinos right now, but you can wear it with jeans. You can wear it actually with something very business-like as well. You can wear it with suit. This is the reason why it's my favorite coat because I can wear it with a suit or with a blazer or just with a shirt, even a t-shirt if I'm feeling really casual and like a little more extra swag I'm feeling myself. So this is a Chester feel, which basically goes in line with other coats like the Parker. You have the trench, you have the Tugger and the Macintosh. The Macintosh is genuinely great for rain. The trench coat, like think about the Burberry, that classic Burberry trench coat, amazing coat. Your Parker will be something like your North Face. Very good, very stylish for the, um, what's say summer, but very for the winter time itself. Very good, has the hood with the fur, if you have a good one. Um, your tongue is the one with the little wood. You hook over and you the little small rope and it hooks over. You know, you've seen grandma wear it, your uncle wear it. But <laughs> those are certain coats like that. But it's other coats that I haven't mentioned is the very famous peacoat made famous by the Navy. So your peacoat, as you can see here, this is a peacoat I bought from H&M a few years back. This one's heavy, it's a shorter version of it as far as the short, as far as the waist. It comes really like up to my base, my um, waistline. It's a single cut in the back, high pockets, as you can see here. It's a little bit heavy. So if you're starting off getting a coat and you don't know what to do and you're on the business world or even the business casual world and you want a nice coat to look separate yourself from your bomber coats and things like that, your P coat is the first version I would highly recommend. The one I just showed you a second ago with Chesterfield, that's next level, okay? As you can see, like I said before, double breast, it comes down, it covers right over the butt. We call it the butt link, all right? So it's the P coat. Don't forget, P coat, this might run you depending on where you get it from. You spend between $60 up to $500, but I recommend H&M. Great brand, good quality, should last you a while. Cost me about $115, but nonetheless, forget the price itself. Be more concerned about the quality of the item. Let's forget about prices and name tags. Let's worry about quality, all right? So I just showed you, this, I just showed you the Chesterfield. What I want to show you as well is called the camera hair. This is probably one of my least worn coats because I don't get a chance to wear it all the time. All right, it can be worn informal, it can be worn over business coats. If you go to Wall Street, if you go to DC or anywhere there's big dogs going around, especially Wall Street, you will see guys in this coat all the time. They might be wearing the black ones or the gray ones, which is almost like a Macintosh, but a longer length, but you won't see a lot of them wear the camel hair. That being said, a few guys can really pull off the camel hair because one, the color itself, if you watch old school mafia movies or stuff like that, you see his coat a lot. So as you can see, this is my um, purple label by Polo. The price tag, you already know if you know the name brand. This is a full length up to my calf, actually past my calf. I only wear this for formal events or if I'm really wearing a business suit, I'm going to a serious meeting or something like that, I can wear this. It's plain as you can see in the back, but you can see the design. Mine has actually been altered where I actually have my buttons pulled over a little bit more so it keeps me snug and it's not sloppy. Because if you have a coat that's too sloppy, you have a lot of extra room. You want room to put a coat or blazer under it, but you don't want too much room that it look like you borrowed a coat from your daddy. So try to avoid that. So as you can see, I showed you three coats so far. The one I was wearing initially, that's the Chesterfield. The second one I showed you, the black one, that's the Pico. And now you're looking at the camera here which is the purple label. Now, these will cost you a little bit much, a little bit more than the other ones will because it's full length. Basically, the more material, the more you pay for. But once again, this can be worn with a suit or a blazer. I highly recommend you don't wear it 
without the tube because it looks sloppy. The chest of feeling the peacoat, you can't. All right. So keep in mind, you want to advance your your brand, your brand. You want to advance yourself as far as like your style. Basically, find yourself going from your bomber coats and your North Face coats to something more casual that you can be versatile with wearing it. The chest of feel I highly recommend. It's a great coat to have. You can wear it with a scarf, without a scarf. All right. That being said, I know we kind of sped through some things. Uh, keep in mind, each one, some might have a double breast versus single breast. The choice is yours. All right. The choice is yours. But also remember, remember I said before, the Macintosh is being rainproof. It is not waterproof. No coat that I showed you today is waterproof, but it will hold up to the snow. I highly recommend as far as care. You take it to the cleaners once every month or once every two months. Do not put it in the washer and dryer. Actually, when you wear it, just let it hang out. If you find if you're the type of person that perspires a lot and you're sweaty, one, I recommend 40 hour degree deodorant. My girl recommended it for me. I don't stink, but nonetheless. But still, I recommend degree. Good deodorant, start there. And if you are um, perspiring a lot, hang the coat up, let it air dry, maybe a little bit of Febreze. It'll do a good job for you. All right? Um, that being said, please like, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their mama who will tell her friends. All right? Until next time, I appreciate you stopping by. And my name is Mr. IGS. Looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much.